Hey everybody, Tommy Hardware here. Today we are going to be placing the O-ring set on a Pentair 2-inch push-pull slide valve. The piston, uh, it goes into the valve body number 263064. And you might be having problems with it. Uh, perhaps it's leaking around the top. As you can see here, you can see the calcium. Uh, that means the O-rings are shot, so it's time to replace them. Again, this is for uh, valve body 263064 or the action, actual stem itself is called a 263055, Pentair 263055. All right, let's get started. Here's the stuff you need. Vice grips, small screwdriver, WD-40, some magic lube, and the O-rings. Uh, the O-rings here were purchased off of Amazon. Should be about six or seven bucks, maybe triple that in a pool store. You can see there are uh, five of them. You actually only use four and I'll show you where those go in a second. Uh, turn off the power to the filter. You don't want anything coming on. Hit the fuse panel or turn the timer off so it doesn't come on. And then make sure the pressure is released in the tank. You do that by rotating the pressure valve counterclockwise. Uh, it'll release the pressure. And then we gotta drain the tank as well. And the way we do that is by activating the valve. You turn it 90 degrees. And you'll know you get it right when you expose this pin. And then we're going to pull straight up on the valve uh, towards you. And there you go. The water should be draining out the backwash valve now. And uh, you likely have a hose attached to this. And it will uh, drain in an area uh, away from the filter so it's not all wet and you're standing in water like you can see here. Okay. So release the locking collar. We go counterclockwise. Uh, it takes a few spins here. Then we're gonna just take it and grab it and move it straight up the piston. And it's a little tricky. You gotta get it around the handle here. You can see just tilt it sideways and it comes right off. The piston itself has been locked in there for quite a few years. Uh, it's gonna take some firm pressure. Just keep at it, do a little wiggling, pull straight up perpendicularly. Is that a word? Perpendicular, Liddy? Well, perpendicular. And uh, so the first O-ring is coming out. Now the second one, straight pressure, just keep wiggling and off it comes. So let's take it over to a work surface so you can see what it looks like up close. You wanna lay out all your tools and have everything ready to go. Okay, I've laid the piston out. Uh, with the matching O-rings, top and lower, large O-rings. You've got a center shaft, a small one, and then the uh, locking clap, clamp O-ring at the top. All of those need to come off. The trickiest part is getting the handle off the shaft. There's a pin in there. It's going to be frozen. Uh, let's put some penetrating oil on there now. Some WD-40, just squirt it right down the center of that pin. It's hollow. It's called a tension pin. And uh, that could be soaking for a few minutes while we take a look at the rest of the O-rings. There we go. Uh, I only had two hands when I did this, so uh, it's a little tough to, uh, to videotape here. All right, get your screwdriver under the first O-ring. Just pry it out, and uh, it'll flip right off there. Remove it. That's the uh, lower O-ring. Go to the next one. And uh, really, that's about all we can do until we get this handle off. The way we get this handle off is take uh, vice grips sideways. Don't crush the pin, just get it nice and tight and rotate it clockwise, counterclockwise, and then finally grab it from the top down with the vice grips, pull it straight out. And that handle now is loose and it'll come completely off. Just give it a little tug and it's off. So it exposes the other O-rings. There's the small shaft O-ring that just rolls right off the end, uh, the opened end there. And then there is the uh, upper seal cap O-ring that we'll see in a second. There it is. You can just barely make it out. Uh, roll that one off with your screwdriver. And get your new ones ready to go. You want to get your lube. I use Magic Lube. Works great. Uh, put a little bit on your fingers. And uh, before we put the new O-rings on, we want to clean the mating surfaces. Just run a cloth around it. Get all the crud off there so you got a nice clean surface. Uh, get the magic lube ready and let's put some of that on the o-rings just keep them nice and supple and uh, crisp you know for years of, of use so just rub it with your fingers inside outside all around do it on all four o-rings 
and then one by one we'll snap them into place. There's the lower one, there's the mid one, uh, there's the shaft O-ring. Everything just goes right back where you found it. Then finally, we can put the handle back on. One part slides over the other. You grab your vice grips and you stick the pin in. If you get frustrated with any of this and you just want to go buy a new stem, you can do it. It's Pentair model number 263055. can save yourself some trouble if you don't want to do all this work, but it's really easy and I know you can do it. For the sake of a $6 O-ring kit, you can get this done. A little bit of labor. Stick the pin in, then I'm going to knock it in a little bit further. Just give it a tap. Uh, yep, and it goes right back in the way it came out. All right, before we insert the stem back into the valve body, let's give it one last little bit of lube around the uh, lower and the middle O-rings. These are the big, wide, fat O-rings. Uh, be liberal with the magic lube. It's okay. Uh, it'll lubricate the inner valve body and the O-ring as, as well. Now, when we put this stem back in the valve body, you want to make sure that it's completely perpendicular. Don't be off at an angle. And we want to line it up like you see here and just do nice, firm pressure. Give it a little bit of wiggle and it'll push down in there and begin to seat. So there's first one is in right there. Now we've got the next one. Let's give it a nice push until it will not go any further. Then it's fully seated. Then once it's snapped into place, as you can see here, get your stem cap that will thread back over the handle the way that it came off. You'll notice uh, that there's a little alignment here. You can't get this wrong, but you probably want the pin facing you and then these two flat size sides of the handle guide facing you as well. You can't get it wrong. It just means that the handle might not be as convenient unless you line it up so it faces you. Don't, don't worry about it. The key here is to get this cap back in place. And uh, we go clockwise and hand tight. Don't over tighten. Don't need any tools. Just make it really uh, as tight as you can go with your hands. Then uh, we push it all the way down and rotate 90 degrees. And at that point, everything is locked so it doesn't pop back up and it's done. So go ahead and turn your power back on. If you've got a digital panel, take it out of service mode. And we are ready to start the pump. All right, start those pumps up. And on that pressure gauge, pressure release valve that's on the very top of the tank, leave it open until water starts to come out. That means all the air is out of the tank. Close the valve by rotating it uh, clockwise. And we're done at this point. Check for any kind of leaks. Uh, if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. If you have any questions, put it in the comments section. Good luck. I know you can do it. Stay tuned for more.